Imagine a supercomputer so fast, so complex in its artificial intelligence, and so complete in its ability to instantly search the world's databases that it can answer a question, any question, posed to it in everyday language. Most will think of the HAL 9000 from this Hollywood classic. The HAL 9000 was a fictional computer conceived in the 1960s by the late Sir Arthur C. Clarke, one of the world's greatest science fiction writers. HAL was an abbreviation for what Clarke called a heuristic algorithmic computer. When the film was released, no one could even begin to think of how such a machine could even be built. And according to the movie, HAL was supposed to appear in the year 2001. And here we are in 2010, and there's no sign of HAL, or is there? At the IBM Research Lab, located in Hawthorne, New York, computer scientists have been quietly building and testing a new supercomputer which they have named Watson. For the past three years, engineers have been working, programming Watson with all sorts of databases, building what they believe is, or at least will be the world's fastest, smartest, quickest answer machine ever. Today, you and I, along with the very fictional HAL 9000, will meet the very real IBM Watson. But first, a word from our sponsor, PC Pit Stop. It's a sad fact. The more you use your computer, the slower it will get, and the need for regular PC maintenance never really ends. Fortunately, the folks at PC Pit Stop have created PCmatic. It's a safe and secure and simple to use product that automates the tasks necessary to keep your PC running at its peak performance. Try it now for free. Just go to PCmatic.com slash Kim and use PCmatic absolutely free for 30 days. That's PCmatic.com slash Kim and try PCmatic for free today. In Stanley Kubrick's epic film 2001 A Space Odyssey, we meet the intelligent but troubled self-aware supercomputer HAL. For many people, this was the first time that they had ever been exposed to what we now call artificial intelligence. Stop then. I'm afraid. Obviously, HAL had issues. To be precise, he had the equivalent of an algorithmic nervous breakdown at the IBM Research Lab in New York. Engineers think that they have the beginning of Hal with Watson. At least for now, he comes without Hal's high maintenance. After Germany invaded the Netherlands, this queen, her family, and cabinet fled to London. Maria. Who is Beatrix? No. Watson? Who is Wilhelmina? That is correct. No, he's not running a spaceship. He's just answering questions. It's just that Watson hears a question, any question you want to ask, and then answers the question just like you and I do in everyday language. How good is he? Let's take a look. Famous red quaffed clown or just any incompetent fool. Watson? Who is Bozo? Nice. Good job, Watson. Watson is not using the internet. Instead, he draws all his answers from billions of files of stored content that he's been absorbing for the past three years. And in testing, while playing rounds of Jeopardy with two other human players, Watson won four out of six games. And by the way, those two other humans are former big Jeopardy winners. I know what you're thinking. He's a computer. It's a computer. And you're right. Watson is far from perfect. What are trousers? No. What is harness racing? No. What is taxi to the dark side? No. What is artificial sweetener? Come on now, no. And when computers fail, often it can be a meltdown, just as Hollywood imagines. In Terminator, the computer network, Skynet, became self-aware and successfully nuked the entire planet. And in real life, the Terminator became the governor. And well, you know the rest. IBM claims that Watson is getting better and better with each hour of testing, and it aims to show him off on national TV in the fall. The producers of Jeopardy! have agreed to pit Watson against past Jeopardy! winners. IBM's engineers say that so far, he plays to win. We'll see about that. For more free videos about everything digital, join us again right here at tvkim.com. Sweet dreams.